Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Thursday, June 28, 2018. And at the moment, I have a smile on my face. But in real true life, I'm about to kill two cats. <laughs> We're supposed to be leaving town. I came up here for um, cataract surgery on my eyes. As you know, I'm at my Edmund home. Uh, you guys that watch me all the time. And I came up here to see the eye doctor about getting the cataracts off my eyes. Well, wouldn't you know, something happened at the hospital where they do it, and some pipes broke or something. And so they had to cancel all the surgeries until the pipes got fixed. Therefore, surgeries are all backed up for an entire month, and I can't get my eye done until July 24 on my first eye, and July or August the 7th on my other eye. And listen, ladies, tell me, those of you who have had your cataracts removed and lenses put in, what lenses did you get? I have my choice between both eyes far away, one eye close, one eye far, or the $6,000 symphony lenses, which are all distances. So I've read bad things about the symphony lenses, um, that there's like starburst and rings and crazy lights or something. I have that already. <laughs> so I don't know. Tell me what you got and if you like it, okay? Anyway. I had a request to show you how to do the pocket on the J. Lee jeans. You have to buy the pocket separate. I don't know, it's real cheap, three dollars or something. And then you download the instructions. But I have made this pocket three times and every time I have messed it up. So I'm gonna tell you why it is so hard to understand. They tell you to put wrong side to wrong side, but in their directions, when you look at the picture, you think you're looking at the right side of the material. See this picture here, this piece we're going to cut out? It looks like it's the right side. And even though my brain knows, what does it say? Pin the wrong side of the facing to the wrong side of the lining every time I've pinned it to the wrong side. So, when you cut your lining out, when you cut this pocket out, at least for the first time since it's so confusing, I'm making red now. Here, I cut it out of the red and started to make it. And I thought, oh, good heavens. What's the right side? What's the wrong side? Even with my X's on there, I know I'll screw it up. So, I suggest, I suggest that you find a piece of cotton in your mountains of fabric, if you're like me, <laughs> Find a piece of cotton that kind of matches, but that has a really wrong side, okay? So the front is obviously different from the back. That would be my first suggestion. <laughs> At least the first time you make this pocket. Okay, I had to take a pause because I was already confused. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm about to kill two cats? Now you people that take everything I say seriously, I'm not really. But Jerry and I have these two cats and we bring them back and forth between our two houses. And the thing is the cats will only come back to the house at a certain time of the day. They come back at night because we give them treats at night. And so we let them out in the morning, they come in and out and they roam around all day long and do what they wanna do. But sometimes we want to leave and go back to our other house. And so the rule is you don't let the cats out of the garage if you know you're gonna to leave town that day. Well, we forgot this morning and we let them out. So we've got, I had this all put away. I had everything all packed up at the front door ready to load the, the trailer up and go back to our other house and cannot get the blasted cats. I've chased them all around my front yard. I've chased them all around the neighbor's front yard. Then the cat ran to the neighbor's backyard. <laughs> Just said, Jerry, forget it. I'm going to go finish my daily jeans. <laughs> so that's why I'm showing you this right now. Okay. So anyway, here's the deal. I have made a bunch of changes on my daily pattern. I really need to start over and print another one out. <laughs> but I have made a lot of changes. Maybe you can see from the back even better. <laughs> with the light shining through. I have made a lot of changes. So the first thing you need to do, if you're like me and you make all these changes, is you need to take this piece. Now this piece, and you need to know what these pieces are called. This piece is called the pocket 
lining. You're going to have the pocket lining and this piece, which is called the pocket facing. And we're going to be sewing the facing, which is going to be the part that sticks out and shows at the top of your jeans. And we're going to be sewing the pocket facing to the lining. So what you need to do is fold this in half because that's the way it's going to be when it's finished because you're going to stick your hand down in it like this, okay? You can see that I have added two inches to mine there in the middle because if I didn't, the pocket would end right there. And I wanted a deeper pocket that I could actually put something in bigger than a gnat's tail. So I made mine deeper, okay? So that's why I've got that addition there. So what you need to do is put this up to your pattern. It goes. There's a, a thing right here that you can tell that matches the top of your pattern right here like that see how this piece matches this piece right here so you match up those two notches and then you redraw your hip line over here redraw your hip line and then you fold this in half and then the bottom part actually is that same hip line okay so I redrew mine to make sure it fits and guess how I knew to do that <sighs> I didn't do it the first time. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Doing things over and over and over again is a really good teacher. <laughs> so anyway, so now I've got this piece revised to match my revised front. Okay? So, I've decided I'm not going to use the red for the lining. I'm going to use this piece. So, I'm going to cut this out using this pattern and then I'll come back and I'll try to show you what you're supposed to do after that, okay? Okay, you've cut out this piece that's called what? What is this piece called? This is called the lining. The lining. So I've cut the lining out in this pretty cotton, weird cotton, bumblebees and apple shaped like hearts. <laughs> At least I'm on the wrong side of it. <laughs> We'll see if I screw this one up too, you guys. And then I've cut out, what's this one called? This one's called the facing, the pocket facing. And it's a different pattern than the one you use if you don't put the pocket in. So this comes with the pocket pattern. These two pieces are the pocket pattern. Okay? You cut these out in the same color as your jeans because this is the part that's going to show up here on your hip. Like that or something anyway <laughs> it's going to show because your hand goes down between it and this pocket facing thing okay so here's what it says to do finish the curved edge of your facings facing finish the curved edges of your facings with an overlock or zigzag stitch and press flat so I have finished the curved edges curved edge curved edge and I mark an X on the wrong side so you can see that I have surged all the way around the curved edge of both of these okay next it says pin the wrong side of the facing you've got to know what's the facing and what's the lining you guys and you can see I'm still looking it up. <laughs> because to me this is not a facing this is a the hip pocket or the front of your pocket or that I don't know it just doesn't seem like a facing to me pin the wrong side of the facing to the wrong side of the lining okay so here's the deal and be sure especially with this red if I didn't have those X's there I would have no clue which was the wrong side of this I put X's on all the pieces I cut out because they look so much the same on each side. If you don't do that, oh, I just lost a piece of my pocket. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to turn them so the wrong side is showing. And according to the picture, this pokey thing goes down. Okay? So wrong side and wrong side. Okay? Then you take the pocket facing and you stitch it you match up the notches did I even put the notches yep there's two notches there and there's no notch over there no notch over there well why don't I have a notch there 
because there's not one. <laughs> the notches are only at the top. Okay, so there's the two notches. So, this is the right sides facing out, and this is the right sides facing out. Okay, so it's wrong sides together. Be sure you get that right, you guys. Because if you don't, you'll have to tear it all apart and start over. Okay? And remember that this pointy part goes down at the bottom. Alright? So, I'm going to do that. And I'll be right. Okay. Here's the next part that confused me a lot. It shows a picture. But, like I said, it looks like you're sewing it to the right side of that um, lining piece. Um, and then it says... Pin the wrong side of the facing to the wrong side of the lining, matching the notches in the corners. Stitch one quarter inch from edge as shown. Well, I put on my contact lenses and three pair of glasses, and I still couldn't see what they had sewn. The picture makes it look like you sew from here to here. But you don't sew from there to there. You sew from here, here, and all the way around the entire pocket. See? The whole thing is attached. It can't come loose. Maybe you can see the stitching on the back side of it. Okay? So this is what we have now. Wrong side. Right side. See? What I kept doing wrong was I would end up with these red parts on the right side of the fabric. Somehow. I don't even know how. Oh. So anyway. Okay? So that's where we are now. We have... Surged all around the round parts. We have sewn the whole thing on to this. Next, it tells you to fold it. Fold it. And so it shows you a picture, and you can sort of see that you fold it like this, and then you can see how the red part of the jeans shows. And the other part's going to be inside the jean, and it's going to be your pocket. See? It's going to be your pocket. So, when you fold it together, if it doesn't look like this, then you have problems. <laughs> Let's see what the next direction is. And it tells you to fold it in half. Remember, it's the long way. You fold it up this way. And then there's a notch in this piece that matches the notch up there, okay? So that's how you fold it in half when it tells you to do that. Okay, the next thing it says is, pin wrong side of lining to right side of front, matching the notches. So now you find the front of your pants, okay? And so here's the front of my pants. Be sure you have the front and you'll know because it has a, what do you call that thing? A uh, placket. <laughs> Looks like it's a zipper there. So here you've got the front. You can see up here where we've got places to put pockets, okay? So it says, Pardon my runny nose, y'all. Pin wrong side of lining. All right, where's the lining? Here's the lining. So we're going to pin the wrong side of the lining. Two. Pin the wrong side of the lining to the right side of the front. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> wrong side of lining to right side of front. Then, this flips completely to the back. Okay, and then this flips up. So it's right. It's right, it's right, it's right. <laughs> so when you're sewing it on to the front of the pant, you're not going to be able to see the red top of your pant. Here's the red top of the pant, and you can't see it. Because you have wrong side to right side. This is really important. Now we're going to sew around here. This is the facing. Only they call it the lining. To me, this is the facing, but they call it the lining. We're going to sew around here. Like the like when they show you how to sew the jeans. Boy, that girl's good, you know what? But she has a flat table. So you're going to sew around like this. Okay? And then you're going to clip it, and you're going to turn it, and you're going to press it, and you're going to get everything to the other side. So I'll come back when I have that done, okay? Okay. Here we are. I don't know what page we're on here. But what, we're at this one right here. And it's pretty understandable if you've got this attached right. So you sew 3 8 inch around here. Okay? 3 8 inch. Then the picture shows you to clip the curve. Clip the curve to, but not through, 
to the stitching so you can stretch it out straight like that, okay? Here's the back. See? And we're fixing to flip this whole thing around to the back, okay? So, I'm going to, I've got them both sewn on. Here's the other one. Here they are, both sewn on the front. See? And the pop of the red piece is underneath here, okay? Does that make sense? All right, so I'm going to flip this curve over here. And my iron's in the other room, so I'm going to have to go in there to press this and turn it. I don't think you should have to trim it when it's 3 8 inch. Did they say trim it? They say trim and clip. So I like to trim with the rotary cutter, so I'm going to trim it down to a quarter inch. I'm not going to serge it because it's going to be inside. It's going to be turned inside so it won't fray. You do serge a lot of this pant, this Jaylee jean. We're doing Jaylee jeans, everybody, in case you're like, what the heck is she talking about? <laughs> and the Jaylee jeans come with two pockets in the back but none in the front. But then a whole bunch of people like me that love pockets said, we want pockets, we want pockets. So they made a separate pattern just for the two front pockets to the Jaylee jean. So that's what this is. This is a separate pattern and it has separate instructions, only they're very hard to understand, in my opinion. And one of you asked me to show you how to do it. So I'll be back in a minute after I get it pressed and turned. Okay, here's a real important step. Now I have pressed this and I've turned it to the other side. But you can see a little bit of yellow sticking out here and there. Just a little bit. So even though it's turned, and it could work. They tell you, and I agree, you need to understitch. So understitch means that you take this yellow piece and you sew it, you pull the seam toward the yellow piece, toward the yellow piece, so everything's over here by the yellow piece, and then you get on your sewing machine and you sew on the yellow piece. I'll come back and show you when I get it sewn. Okay, this is understitching. See the red seam line up here? It sews the seam line back here, the 3 8 inch seam line. It sews it to this yellow piece, okay? And what that does, ooh, there I missed a little bit of it, but we'll see. What that does is it makes it turn much better. So you can see now when I turn it to the back, some of the red comes around with it. And that's what you want, because then none of that yellow will be peeking out the top. Okay, so now, what does it say to do? Top stitch on the right side of the front, 1 8 inch from edge, and a second top stitch. Oh, okay, we're gonna top stitch now. Yeah, this is the fun part. Okay, some of you have asked me about top stitching. You can see, maybe, my top stitching on that flap fly, whatever you call it, right here. One row is one eighth or less inch from the seam line. The next row is a quarter inch away from where your first row of stitching is. So your two rows of stitching should end up being a quarter inch apart. So I've been asked what foot I use. Well, I use whatever foot works. I have different sewing machines. In this house, I'm on the second machine I bought in my life many moons ago. And this one, I like the um, regular foot, just the plain old ordinary foot I sew everything with. But what I do is I'll take a scrap of my material and I'll just draw a line and sew the two lines of stitching. And I'll see if I like the foot. And I'll see how far, you know, your needle can move to the right, your needle can move to the left. And I'll see, maybe if I move the needle over one time, it'll be a quarter inch. Nope. Maybe if I move it over two times, it'll be a quarter inch. And if it is, I'll make a note on a piece of masking tape and tape it down so I can remember what the heck I came up with. And so I'll have one place I line the foot up to sew the first row. And I'll either have it in the center, the needle in the center, or the needle to the left, or the needle to the right, whatever. Different parts of the pant you want it on the right, some you want it on the left. But do a practice. I turn my stitch up to three because I like my um, 
top stitching to be a little bit wider, so I turn it up to three. Okay? So, just practice until you get something you like. Try your open toe foot. Try your edge stitch foot. I've done it with the edge stitch foot for the really stitch really close to the seam, and then I've used a different foot for the wider part. So, just do some experiments, see what you like. Write down what you figured out, because if you're like me, you're going to forget it five seconds later. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go and um, let me see. Surely you don't top stitch it before you sew it on there. Under stitch, bring seam allowance towards the lining and stitch taking up all the layers. Top stitch on the right side of the front. Yeah, I guess you do. I want you to go ahead and do the top stitching before you um, sew this all down. So when you've got it to this point, everything's flying around loose back here. You're going to go ahead and top stitch the top of this pocket right here, okay? So I'll go do that. I'll come back and show you. Okay. Both edges are top stitched. I never know what you can see till later when I look at it. So I hope you can see that both edges are top stitched with the two rows of stitching. See? And here's the inside. And both pieces are still flopping around in the wind. See? They're still loose. So that's the back. And this is the front. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold these pockets up in the back. Fold this lining up. And it lines up here at the top. There's that little notch. Remember we folded it in half earlier? And I'll show you what the back looks like. I should actually do a vlog on this and show pictures. It'd probably be a lot better than a video. Then over here on the edge, it lines up over here on your hip line. Pockets folded in half. Now if it doesn't line up exactly, don't be like me and get all bent out of shape over it. Just line it up as best you can. That's a Sandra Betsina term. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sew this inside seam together. The one that if you didn't sew it together and you put your hand in your pocket, your hand would just slide right on through. So we've got to close it up. But they have kind of a funny way they do that, so I'll show you what they do. Let me line this one up. This one lines up better than the other side. Of course, my jeans are different on each side, you know. One is a low hip, one is a high hip. So it throws the curve off just a hair on the right side. <laughs> because I had lined the pocket up with the left side when I made the pocket. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. And the directions are there. Let me put a pin to hold this steady. Someday I'll learn how to do the camera up in the air like these other ladies do. I don't know how they do that. Okay, so this is the front. This is the back. This is the back now, okay? We're going to sew this right here. The pocket's loose. We're going to sew this and we're going to sew this. And we're just going to sew it one eighth inch. Then we're going to turn the pocket inside out or outside in or whatever it ends up being. <laughs> and then we're going to sew it again. So it's going to be like a French seam, an enclosed seam, when we get that done, okay? So we're going to sew it, then turn it, and sew it again on both of those seams, okay? Then, I'm pretty sure, the last step, align all the edges and baste them. And so the last step is... You just sew it across here and sew it down the side. You baste it, sew it, whatever, it's not going to show. Okay? Last step, sew across here and down here. Because this is all loose here. I had a pin, but you know, you've got to sew it together. So that will be it. And your pocket will be in the front. And you'll be, um, next thing you'll do is sew the legs together and then you'll attach the waistband. And then that'll be done. Okay. <laughs> I got the cats. That's the good news. <laughs> and now we decided to go home tomorrow anyway. <laughs>
So here you go. The two pockets are inside like this. And you see that the right side shows of this fabric. The pockets are sewn shut now. So when I put my hand in there, the pocket is closed. See? Pocket. Very nice. It's sewn here down the side. It doesn't line up perfectly over here. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because some part has already been sewn. I don't know. But anyway, flatten it out, smooth it as much as you can, and sew it down here, and sew it up here, and then it's ready to finish with other legs and the waistband. So, that's how you do the pocket. And that's it for now. And maybe I'll actually get this uploaded this afternoon. Won't that be something, since we're not going home till tomorrow, and this is fast internet land. So, bye for now. I'll be back soon. <laughs>